mental health is not complicated and I want to demystify this because when we say that something is complicated we are telling ourselves that we do not have the ability to understand it and we don't want to do something about it and I will not settle for that I was talking to my friend the other day and he was like, mental health is such a complex topic. It's so hard to understand. And I was like, no, no, that's a conspiracy theory. Mental health is not very difficult to understand. I understand why you feel like mental health is so complex to understand because when you're not in good mental health, you're supposed to feel like nothing makes sense. And everything is hard to understand so I understand that feeling that it's so complex it's so hard to understand no you're not feeling well and that's why you feel like everything is difficult and hard to understand but when it comes to it mental health is very easy to understand you have a nervous system when you're not feeling well the nervous system is in the sympathetic nervous system and when you're feeling well and happy and okay, you're in the parasympathetic nervous system. So these two systems are working depending on how you're feeling. If you're feeling like life is threatened, you haven't paid your bills, your kids, you don't even have school fees for their, for their children, you're in a survival state and you're in the sympathetic nervous system. When you're in the sympathetic nervous system, you'll not be able to sleep you'll not be able to digest your food properly you'll feel tired because your heart is always pumping a higher rate and you will be losing a lot of energy when you're not stressed out on the other hand your body is more relaxed you can breathe you can eat you can sleep and you can do all these wonderful things that you're supposed to do like think when you're in the sympathetic nervous system you cannot think and you cannot understand things and that is why you feel like your world is coming apart but it doesn't have to be like that because science has shown us that there are things that you can do to move yourself from a state of sympathetic nervous system regardless of what's happening in your life and move to the parasympathetic nervous system and be able to think calculate and plan your life and solve the problems that you think that you have all you have to do is make the switch move your whole nervous system from the survival state to the parasympathetic nervous system why do i say that you have to do this the sympathetic nervous system is just meant for you to react to the threat at hand it's not meant for you to think and plan and make a good plan of action so that you can solve your problems in the future. It's just meant to help you solve the problem right now. For example, I used to remember when I went to, to do my first interview, I'm broke and they're asking me, where do you want to see yourself five years from now? I'm like, five years from now, dude, I just need a paycheck for this month so that I can hit my rent don't ask me about five years from now how dare you but that question is actually good because if i had planned five years from now i would make sure that i am not in this situation but because i haven't taken time to rest and process my situation and figure out that if i have a five-year plan or a 10-year plan that might help me much in the long run well then i'm stuck in the survival state where i'm just thinking for today it's good to switch to make the switch a lot of people will not make the switch for example when you feel bad you want to just smoke your stress away 
or drink your stress away or you know watch binge watch a netflix series or you know sit on the couch and just not be bothered that does not take your stress away in fact it stresses your body more for example if you smoke you stress your body more if you take alcohol we know that alcohol even shrinks your brain now you have a smaller brain what you gonna do what you wanna do is to switch from the sympathetic nervous system to the parasympathetic nervous system to homeostasis to rest and digest you could meditate meditation is one of the best ways that has been shown by science it actually works it trains your mind to stay calm and you want to use meditation because where attention goes energy flows and where energy flows neural connections grow when you train your mind to stay calm through meditation you train your mind to stay calm all the time when things go bad they did a study of these monks who are doing meditations every day and they were faced with the same life problems like we other people face and the monks were able to maintain the high gamma waves that are known to be very fast brain waves coherent and very efficient brain waves you can train your mind from the sympathetic nervous system to the parasympathetic nervous system homeostasis by meditation alone which is a long term solution to the problems of being in this sympathetic nervous system and you think that these problems of the sympathetic nervous system are small they are not small if you have gone through childhood trauma people not taking care of you people not connecting with you like i have these problems that we face are a lot we have to train our nervous system to move from being so worried into the parasympathetic nervous system and meditation can help you another thing that can help you especially if you've gone through childhood trauma and you're always in the survival state is to have friends having good relationships having good connections is very very important to your mental health you want to have friends who are nice to you who are soothing who take time to listen to you who want to understand you and what's going on in your life and help you without strings attached some people will only talk to you if you're giving them money some people will only talk to you if they want some favor from you those are not good friends you want somebody who is genuine who is just going to take the phone and call you when you're not feeling well somebody you feel free to talk to actually that kind of empathy helped me heal from my trauma just knowing that i have a friend who doesn't judge me that I can tell her this 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 and she doesn't judge me and she's not taking money from me she's just a friend it helped me bring a lot of peace please get a friend get a nice friend and if you are there and you have a family member like for me I know my family members have gone through a lot of trauma I try when I can as much as possible to be they are for my family members especially my younger brothers because they struggle even way more than i do because i know when they lost our parents they were much younger so the trauma that they faced is much greater than mine you know the trauma hit me at six years old but it hit them when they were much younger so i try as much as possible to be there for them be there for your friends if you think that they are struggling emotionally be there just show them unconditional empathy and love and affection and tell them you're praying for them and you're there for them and they can talk to you and when they talk to you do not judge them just show them empathy that can heal them in ways that you never know possible empathy has the power to heal when you're stressed out you have this cortisol it's a hormone the stress hormone in your body you already have this cortisol in your system that is making you feel stressed out exercise will get rid of the cortisol and replace it with endorphins and endorphins are like painkillers they help you feel good so exercising and making it a routine to practice is going to help you move from survival to homeostasis we want to move into homeostasis by healthy means if you smoke a cigarette 
you might feel good in the moment but it's not gonna help you cultivate long-term habits that are going to strengthen your mind and your body remember when you have a strong mind you also have a strong body anything you do to strengthen your body will strengthen your mind anything you do to weaken your body like smoking or drinking alcohol is going to weaken your mind you don't want that as much as life is hard we are left with very few choices meditation exercise having friends that are good to you mental health is not complicated and i want to demystify this because when we say that something is complicated we are telling ourselves that we do not have the ability to understand it and we don't want to do something about it and i will not settle for that not here at self wired happiness thanks again for tuning in to self wired happiness i love you please like subscribe and share and until next time namaste